So can you talk me through it? So you did well. Um, at least you started understanding um, the basic of you know HTML. Because really what's happening now is um, you understand HTML tag, isn't it? Yes. You understand that you can um, you know, do view source and so on and so forth, isn't it? Um, mm. So do, do, do you want to show me the code? Let me just see. Um... You know you can do it from here. So you can right click and say view source, isn't it? I know using HTML. Oh. oh yes, I forgot that. Um so is that how to do that now? I think they've changed it now. I think you have to go right to click. that three three dots. Yeah, probably the right three three dot there. Um you know the one other if you go to the um to your right hand screen, mm -hmm. yeah, click it. Do you see anything like view source there? No. Uh, okay, go to developer tools. Um, just click developer tools. In this list. Developer tools, that one. Okay. Something will show up now. Oh, click okay there. Click okay. Oh. View source. Uh, because this one is, um, I think this one is um, is Chrome, if I'm right. Or oh. so I don't know why it's not showing. Um, I don't have access to your screen, but there should be view source here. Um, Let me try and find it. I can you go to Internet Explorer? Copy what is in the page there for me, please. Copy what is in the page. Up here. Yeah. Copy it. Yeah, yeah, it goes. I think it was very slow. It's fine. We can oh, use this one. Is coming. It's fine. It's fine. We can use this one. It's fine. It's fine. We can use this. Because most of the time, people use Chrome now. We don't use Internet Explorer much of, most of the time. So we use that. So these are elements, okay? All right. So these are the things that you built. Um, they're just showing the HTML ad. You know, you can expand you know this one you can expand it. Do you see the arrow? Can you expand the P one? Yeah, you can start there. Let's see what is underneath. So you see, as you are moving your screen, it's showing you where this one is. You see? So yes. moving, so continue. So if you start working as a developer, you'll be troubleshooting things like this, like going to the source page, trying to know where's the problem. Then if you click on all those arrows, let's see all those arrows, all those arrow. Let's begin to see what is underneath and then we'll see what you have written. Like this HTML yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Go down. There are still many arrows there that you have to click. There's some no. That arrow below. Yeah. Click it. Yeah. Do you see now? This is the image you have written. That's the image you are pointing to now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the other arrow down, P, let's see what is there. Go. Did you see what's happening now? You are mm. scrolling down. Click the arrow yeah so this is what you have written so the reason why so this is chrome all right chrome has this tool to help developer that's why they call it developer tools so as you go along in your journey as a web developer because you want to become a web developer that's your ambition that's one of those things we discuss um i think you are going to be using this as well to troubleshoot things but we are not troubleshooting now okay um, this one is more advanced than the one you are going to open in Internet Explorer because in Internet Explorer, you can just go to view and then say view source view and source. then you see all the code straight away. But in this case, it's a, it's a developer tool. So it's more advanced. You are able to see if something is wrong with your website or anything, you want to get where it is, then you use this. In one of the things I was doing, like, for example, in software testing, probably you are doing automation software testing. These are the tools they use to be able to know how to do software testing, but you are not doing software testing anyway. So they normally use Chrome to do all those things to detect where the element is, especially if you have thousands of lines of code. You have so many P, you have so many P, so many H, and so on and so forth. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. Well, well done so far. Now, have you heard of Bootstrap before? Have you heard of yes. Bootstrap before? Okay. Yeah. Have you heard of um, 
the CSS before, which is the cast and scaling style sheet. And style sheet. I was okay. learning CSS when I stopped. Okay. So these are the things we're going to build together. And you you really did well. Um self-study. Um so in this our journey in web design, what I'm trying to plan to do is for us to start with HTML first. And after HTML, we go to cast scaling style sheet. But you already have the knowledge already with casting style sheets. And then also we are going to go to Bootstrap. And after Bootstrap, then we'll go to um, what we call JavaScript. Mm. I think we're going to learn all those four. Now, we're going to learn it probably up to mid-intermediate, all right? And then we'll go to WordPress. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because if we learn it up to WordPress, then people can decide if they don't want to go further into web development, they can move on. And then we now continue, we now start digging deep into projects using, you know, those JavaScript and PHP and my SQL to do, you know, great things as well. You understand what I'm trying to say? You back want to start, end. yeah, do perfect. So back end things, like for example, someone registering to your website, you want to make sure that the person, anytime he comes in again, he can log in again, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes. So these are the things that these are the things that um is very important. So and I believe that I think I've looked at some projects like which I did with them a little bit, you know, just to you know, long time ago. I think that's what we're going to do together. I think something on CMS, something like social network as well, it will help, it will build confidence and so on and so forth. But well done so far. Well done, well done, well done. Well done. Um so don't worry, H the W3 schools, okay, is mainly for us to just learn the basic, but I'm going to recommend free code camp to people. Wow, you did well. Oh, <laughs> the contact page. Yeah, well done, well done. So this is your contact page. So at least you can design something yourself. In fact, you can say you want to put your CV here, okay? And then, you know, that's what you can do, you know? It's, it's just the beginning and you can do back to home page so click back to home page let me see that yeah you did well excellently so now do you know that we can modify this for you so if you go to bootstrap what's the problem you're having with bootstrap for example um have you learned bootstrap as well so no. don't worry we're going to start everything from the scratch so i'm going to show people you know bit and bit and then we'll start building subscated websites so we're going to build um cms and then something like facebook i think i like that one as well and um, someone did it so i'm not the one so we're going to follow the same style and on Udemy as well so which is very good but i'm going to be guiding along as well so we'll come across some things along the journey that will be next four months anyway because <laughs> it's not going to i want people to be solid you know to have solid background in html and javascript as well and casted and cascading style sheets and bootstrap and then we can learn a little bit of jquery and so on and so forth is that okay so yeah. well done well done well done well done <laughs> and don't forget now you have learned this trust me i can say you have passed this but i want you to participate in lesson you know like this because what happened is that you just learn it there are some things that are in place now if you want to build website to people you it's not that you're going to be designing website you already have templates so template means that everything so can you so you have stopped sharing now so let me start sharing my screen i'll show you something now okay so now um let me share now can you see my screen now where there is w3 schools yes okay so now that you have learned at least the basic of HTML, which you really did well because you can click home page, back to home page, you did well. Um, now, don't worry about how the page looks. Things have changed now. When I was learning HTML, that was almost probably in code 20 years ago then. I was doing everything by hand. It's not really beautiful because you have to learn how to put the tables and do a lot of things. So it's going to take, waste a lot of time, but things begin to change in those days. They begin to bring Dreamweaver. Maybe you have heard of Dreamweaver before. Mm -hmm. um, Dreamweaver is a kind of a, um, is a tool, you know, that helps in building templates, you know, webs uh, website templates, okay, for people so that you don't need to be 
you know, coding tables and trying to align tables and so on and so forth, you know, to put your image and everything so that everything will be beautiful. You see, because you and coded those ones, that's why everything's like that. But now things have even changed. People are not even using Dreamify again, okay? People started building templates. I don't know what they used to build their template probably, but things have changed now. There are many tools to build templates. And so you can buy templates like this, W3 schools. They will put something here. You, you just need to change it, okay? And then start writing your HTML code. You can say, you know, I want to put my stuff there, remove any. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So the main thing in this lesson is to understand HTML. The understand the syntax, okay? And then we we'll go to JavaScript. You understand the syntax. Where you're going to find it tough is now trying to make in JavaScript to work with PHP and you want to, you know, you want to show that, you know, people can register to your website. You know, people can have their own password. People can log in. People that can put details. People can put comments in your page. That's when you begin to become developer as a web developer. So in this case, you are a web design, at least with HTML, okay? So yeah. well done again. So we're going to start with HTML. Now, the first thing we're going to do in designing HTML is that always know the first basic is that know where your notepad is, your notepad, okay? So I will open a notepad in my page. If everybody can open their notepad. So this is where we're going to practice. Now, we're going to practice the same thing that is here on this page. Why they don't say you should use notepad here, yeah, probably. I think, did you do everything on your notepad as well? You start saving them, isn't it? Um, it was notepad++. plus plus. Perfect. So you can install it on notepad++. plus plus. That's what I want oh. to see. That Sorry, after... Michael. It was a different one. I can't remember the name. It's okay. But I think I would recommend notepad++ plus plus anyway, because notepad, you can use Sublime. You can use um, other one. I've forgotten now. Um, it begins with an S. Um. Is sublime sub text. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sublime text. Yeah, yes. they call it sublime. So um you can oh sorry. Okay, so can you see what I'm I'm doing now? So I'll put the HTML here. Um can you see where I'm the test now? Yeah. Um, can you see the notepad? Yes, a blank. Okay, perfect. So now, here's what I'm trying to do. Now, I'm going to first do this because I don't think I have Notepad on my PC yet. I don't install it. I install, no, I've installed it. I have Sublime. I have so many things here. So but I don't want to use Notepad for now. For people to get used to using Notepad now, we'll start with Notepad. But I would recommend everybody to use Notepad++. But for today, I'm going to be doing things in in notepad okay um, mm. but you can use your notepad plus plus okay i don't even have it yeah i have sublime but i don't want to use sublime i don't like i have sublime and the other one as well mm. so notepad i'm going to save it okay so we want to follow this lesson and we're going to start everything okay and we're going to learn it in two hours now don't be surprised we are going to learn the basic of html in two hours and if you listen, that means you understand the syntax. You don't need to worry about, oh, you want to read code, you know, in HTML and so on and so forth. Um, so if you open your notepad, click file, just say save as. So you can call it any name. For me, I would just say, I'll call it, um, I'll call it, I'll put it on my desktop. Um, I'll call it. I'll save it as first day dot htm. Now I can call it dot html. I can dot dot htm. It's the same thing, okay? So I'll just call html this time around, okay? Hello, excuse me, Michael. I can yeah. only see a blank there. Uh, sorry, a black ah a black okay. patch. Okay, I know what's happening. Don't worry. Um I, I think what's happening is, let me just see why it's doing that. Um, share, I don't know why. Okay. Screen two, sorry. Can you see it now? Yeah. I was sharing windows rather than the screen, so I should be sharing screen now. So I'll save it as, who can see it now? Who else? Um, Mr. Osney, have you been able to do what I asked us to do now for, you know, um this one? Um, so. 
we call it firstday.html. Now, if I if I if I go to if I go to the desktop, okay. If I go to the desktop now, all right. Mm -hmm. So you will see that it's already giving it a symbol here. First day. Uh, okay. First day. So do you see it now? First day. Dot HTML and it has a zero kilobyte. Do you see it now? Zero kilobytes. So and um, now what happened is we want to start. So rather than doing it, try it yourself here. We'll be seeing it on our own screen here. That's what we want to do. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So now the introduction. We always have HTML introduction, okay? So I will not, I'll just drag it to this side, my HTML, or I should, um, let me just do what is easy for us by God's spirit. Now, there, perfect. So in your page, you will see this one with our online HTML editor. So you are not using online editor now, okay? We want to see how things is now. They explain this first. They have not started it, all right? But they want you to know how HTML is. Everything is in a tag, okay? A greater than tag and a less than tag. Now, if you finish what you are writing on that, then you close it. So mm. you always close with backslash, okay? Now, this is for every HTML. You start with something like HTML add, you know? So now, let me give you an example now. So if I put this now okay if i put this here i'll explain it to you now so we'll open our own i'll put it on notepad so if i put it on notepad now okay i save it all right now i will now go to my desktop um so if i go to my desktop now i'll look for that first day dot html um, properties you can copy it or you can open it this way out of the two but i want to open it with um chrome or something like that that's why i want to copy it so i can come here and say okay control v see first day dot html so now you see what is happening now this is just what we want to see so we just we are just trying up this now this is heading this is paragraph now what do you notice here now based on what they said here page title do you see page title here mm. where do you see page title where is it on the tab, at the tab. on the tab so that is the heading now so on the tab so if you go to you know i was telling you that you must learn how to use developer tools so sometimes i might be teaching us how to use developer tools so if i want to find the edge here i can go here view source okay just and then you go to more tools developer tools and so on and so forth then i can look for the head here what is the head here to confirm so i'll just go to the elements here i'll just say elements and then i'll go to the edge so this is the head HTML tutorial. You see, it's here in the tab. Mm. You see what is happening as well. So um, that is that for now. So let's leave this now. So we done that. So, but that's not what is interesting at the moment. Okay. So we want to start with the basic. Okay. They said HTML editors. You can use Notepad or Notepad plus plus. We have discussed that already. Um then you can start right okay so yeah. they have even mentioned it here as well so now but anytime you are writing html honestly it's not compulsory to be sincere maybe for example you have not decided you know this doc type later on you will learn it i can still work with html without ed and i will just say body body and it's still going to work that's how it is you know in html but to be okay. professional, you have to start with doc type and everything. 
Do you get what I'm trying to say? So you must have HTML, HTML holding, Closing. and then so I can remove edge. So I can say I don't want edge, hmm. and then it's still going to work. So if I save it now, the body. Okay. So I say enter. So you see, you put first the HTML here rather than because I have removed the head. So it's still going to work, okay? It mm. doesn't mean anything, okay? Just to let you know. So that's how HTML is for now. Um, so now you could see that you always start with HTML. It begins with HTML. And then the body. The body is where things, you know, comes into play and so on and so forth, okay? Where you pull all other elements. Now, what you notice here is that we have open... And then close tag. The close tag is, for, is you know, is preceded by backslash. All right. Mm -hmm. So now we go to elements. Okay. Now there are different elements. Now the most common element, maybe for example, you want to give a title. You know, you start with P. So they said all HTML elements usually consist a start tag and an end tag. Okay. Now the HTML is everything from stack. But if you want to write a statement, always start with P. Okay. But if you want to make it bold or bigger and everything like that, there are levels of, you know, of uh, of height in in terms of text. So, for example, now let's start this now in my notepad. So if I type this now, and say, there's H1. H1 is one. We have H2 up to H what? In one of you to H6. So mm -hmm. if I put H2. H3, so let's put H2, let's put H65 here. Yeah. H5 here. Yeah. H3 here. Yeah. Now, everything will look somehow now because we have not started building website. We want to just understand the language. So mm -hmm. I close it. I refresh my page. I just say enter. What happened? It becomes smaller and smaller, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that is the you know purpose of that H. Okay, it's up to H6, so I don't need to start writing H6. So we have level up to H6, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, there's what we call P, which is paragraph as well. So it means that when you write P, if you write the next P, it's going to continue and continue and continue underneath underneath it okay then what we call break break simply means like you want to give a space between lines all right that is break for you mm -hmm. all right so um because today is introduction anyway so i'm just trying to tell you what's happening now now so if i put break here now if i say i want break here it's going to put one line. If you want to have another line, break doesn't have close tag. I have never seen it unless they have changed it. I don't normally use it. I can use two break. I say I want two lines, okay? And then I said this paragraph, I want this way. And I say, okay, let's do it together. And then I go refresh. Enter. Do you see the space now? All right. Mm -hmm. So that's the space there. Now, I can, you know, I can continue like that, that. So that's the element because this is just introduction, right? So to HTML. So we start looking at the tags, each tag, right? And then we start working on them. Now, another thing to know is HTML is not case sensitive, all right? Now, it's not case sensitive really because HTML is to just describe how your website look, you know, how to design your website. Is not um, so it doesn't really matter. All right, all right. Well, if you begin to look at JavaScript or something like Node.js or PHP, some things has to be case sensitive. For example, you want to enter your password. You know, you must have something that is case sensitive. You know, so on and so forth. So that's the reason why HTML is not case sensitive. Why others might be case sensitive because of the way what they do as well, the kind of things they do as well. So that's that. Um, now we start going to attributes. So what are the HTML attributes? Now, we have different attributes, okay? Now, you must know how to put links, okay, on website, okay? It's very, very important. And this is one of the examples now, okay? You start with A, but there's what we call 
value in terms of attributes. I don't know, maybe I will say method. So href as method, href is a method, all right? If there's any other thing here, probably there's other methods like, you know, when we start going there, like, but don't worry, we have not started yet. It's just an introduction. So this href, all right, is one of the method, you know, inside this A attribute, okay? Mm -hmm. The same thing with image, all right, here, okay? So, because we have not come to images, so we are still going there. So I'm just explaining to you. So for example, if I want to go to a website, I can just copy this and say, I want to go to BBC website, okay? Where's my notepad? Um, so I can change this one to BBC dot com is there bbc.com maybe today we will know you can you know you can write anything this hmm. is bbc whatever. now don't worry about this because attributes which is a attribute has so many features but because we're just still doing introduction so if i save it okay and i click refresh enter so i can click this do you see it now? Mm. Now, in one of these lessons is that when we start doing things, you know, if I open it now, what happened? It takes me away from this page, isn't it? It takes me to bbc.com, but it changed to, that's what we call redirection. So the, the reason why they do that is that sometimes some people, they, I think they intentionally buy that domain. So if someone now mistakenly you know, type bbc.com, they have put it in their system to redirect. So it's one of the things I was working on recently. So if they try to do something, you should redirect them. So they put redirection, even though we put bbc.com there, it redirects them to, you know, to this bbc.co.uk. You see what's happening there. So mm -hmm. that's the purpose there. That's redirection. Let me not digress, okay? So I'll continue that. So this is the website. So now remember that when I Click that. You might say, oh, I'm, you know, when I was doing the, this many years ago then, you know, I was like, how oh, am I going to do this? So I have to make research. Probably I'm reading that introduction. I say, oh, I'm, I know, you know, I'm just giving an example. Ah, I know HTML now. But I discovered that, oh, actually, when I click this BBC website, it's taking me away from this place. But I want people to be able to click it and open it in a new page. All right, rather mm -hmm. than taking me away from the website, that's why we have so many other methods under this attribute that we're going to learn later on. So we call it one blank, self, so on and so forth. So we'll learn that as well, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, then we have image as well. We're going to learn image. Then if you want your image to be, you know, to be kind of, let me put it that way, big, small, and so on. So let's see image. I'll just introduce us to image now. Okay. Okay. Because these are the qualities you, even if you want to start using WordPress, at least you know about all these things. You don't crack your head when you're handling them. Now, do you think this thing is going to work? If I put it this way, let's see. Is it going to work? But there's not going to be image. Why? Because we don't have it. Look, it's here, number one. There are so many things that is wrong here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Number one thing that is wrong here is what? It's very close to the BBC website, isn't it? Okay. Number two, there's no image that we put there, isn't it? Number three, I supposed to put break, isn't it there, isn't it? So... Now, what okay. we can do, and it's very small. We don't define the height. We don't even know if, if there's image, probably everything. So what are we going to do? We're going to learn it later on. Image height. You know, do you know you can put image here? Okay, let's do it. Let me just do that as a sample. I can put image here and say, I want to put the image here to be the link. So that's why sometimes you go to a website, you click an image and it takes you to another place because they are putting image in the link. Okay, yeah. so... Now, let me look for an image on my desktop and, okay, I know what to do. Properties. So give, let me see, kids, let me see if something that I can let you guys see. 
Okay, let me use this false. It's a pink stuff. So I'll just name it as now. Remember now, let me call it kids.give. Okay, see what's going to happen. Don't worry about this one. I do this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, see what will happen. Okay. If I refresh it, enter. Now, mm -hmm. did you see what happened now? Now, I'll tell you what happened. Um, let me remove this force. It doesn't mean anything. Now, what happened now is that I just put it there because I, I have this kid's image on my what desktop and this file is in the same place with my desktop because i saved this file. so if i go to save us now do you see is there desktop first day if you look at the file here keys dot dot html you see so this is how you know you see all files you'll be able to go for kids okay you see now kick dot it's in the same file but sometimes the 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 image might not be here so you have to look for the path file okay mm. and then you now say see you know document and everything however if you are developing on probably in a server you have to put maybe backslash and then put the path file okay so you, you might have to put a a path file here so we are still going to go into that in, in full details so another thing is that you can put you know image between so if i click it now it becomes a link so when I click it, it goes to BBC again. Do you see it now? Mm. So that's what happens. So you can do so many things like that as well. So that's it for image as well. That's one of those things. So you always find the similarities. We go to any website and so on and so forth. Now, you see this one of the method here. You put hot. Do you know the purpose of this? So if I put this now here. Oh, alternative. So what do you think is the purpose? If the image doesn't appear, then what you want, you want it to appear in case the image doesn't come up. Okay. Then let's the see. alternative thing that should show up. Okay. Let's see what you said now. See, it's not there. So you are right. Until the image is up, that's when it's going to what? So what's another thing that I've, I think I'm not sure. So we are still going to go to two tip as well. Okay. So, but not now. All right. So because we're just introducing, because we're going to start deeply on the elements and so on and so forth. So you get that one right. So that's the purpose of all, um, ALT as well in that purpose. So if I remove that and say keys. Um, so this one doesn't exist anyway. So if I put it there. That's what's going to happen. I can say top mail or something. Oh, wait, sorry. Try to look for this page. Uh, you see, get with the jacket. So you are right, okay? So, and I can I can still click it, and then it's still going to take me to BBC because it still has the link as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Okay. Well done. So, any other thing? I think the major things you, you know about P about, you know, I want to teach people later in JavaScript to use console developer tools. It's one of those things. I can tell you if, you, if, if we follow this journey all through develop, web development, we're going to be using, you know, the, the free code camp. We're going to be using W3 schools. We're going to be using, you know, the project I'm going to plan for us. And we're going to be developing together. Me too, I'll be learning anyway. Mm. So we're getting there. So that's it. So there is no big deal. You could see it now that what you need to now know is, I'll be telling you what you need to know about HTML so you don't worry. What you need to now master is using cast and cascading style sheet later on when we finish HTML, okay? So just to let you know that it's easy. So this is two tip. It's called tie two. That's what I wanted to say. So they have already said it here. So we're going to learn other things like lower case and small case and so on and so forth, but not now, all right? Mm -hmm. So can we start now? Eddings. So this is adding one, adding two, adding three, adding four, adding five, adding six. So this is how to write it. H1, H2, H3, H4. So it's easy. I don't need to even type it. Okay, but if you want to know how it looks like, I can put it here. All right. So 
So you can put it here. So I can just do this. So if I go back now to where it is and I press enter, do you see it now? So the the H1 is the biggest and so on and so forth. Now I want to ask you, during your um, research on your HTML, do you make research on some special characters? Like, for example, I'll, strong. Yeah, there's another emphasis. M. What about space? If I want a space between um, something, a space between words, copyright, all those stuff as well. So we're going to learn that as well. Okay. okay. So let's continue with headings now. So the headings, there's no big deal there, honestly, to be sincere. So the headings is all about probably you want one, the title to be big. All right. So for example, now I can change my mind and say, okay, this heading, I want it to have on the line. So I can put you here. All right. Though we are not yet in on the line. Okay. I can put you here. So that's for on the line. Okay. So, and it's going to underline it, hopefully, on, because I'm old school now. I hope it's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see if they have changed it. So that's on the line. Okay. So you can do things with HTML. So you have to imagine, they might not put it there that you have to put it between on the line, but you can actually put it within on the line. You can put image within link, okay? And you can even put, um, what did I want to say? You can do so many things within because it's tag, close the tag, open the tag, close the tag. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because that's the purpose of HTML. It's very, very easy to learn. So you just manipulate things the way you want it, okay? And so on and so forth. So that's it. And then I can say, okay, my paragraph here. Now, they're talking about paragraph. Now, HR. They're talking mm. about HR here. So do you know the purpose of HR? To put horizontal line. Perfect. Horizontal. So, horizontal line. So let's see how it works. And I will, I will, talk, I will say something briefly about it. So, but before that, um, <laughs> okay let's see horizontal line i like it someone is sending me a chat someone said hold on someone is messaging me um okay don't worry we are in for it. now look at this now this is heading one so we have paragraph we have so let's refresh this So that's horizontal line. So it mm -hmm. makes your website interesting. So if you have not even gotten to the level of um, probably you want to start using um, Bootstrap and so on and so forth, you can say, oh, I want to design this website. I use only HTML, pure HTML. So this one will even become your uh, menu, isn't it? You can use this as your menu. So mm -hmm. do you think we can create menu with this, with HTML alone, with what we have learned now so far? You know, we have not gone deep. Do you think we can create a menu like that? Yes, we can because mm. you have learned how to put link, basic link together. I'll just say home, space, um, about us, this, 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 that's all. Okay. Mm. So it's just thinking out of the bus. Okay. You have learned three elements now, but you can use it to do something with HTML there. All right. So I can say put a link there. So let's try it. Okay. So I'll just go there and we'll do it within these words. We think this, um, we think this. So this is heading one. So I'll just say heading one. Um, what should I do? So where do you put HR? Yeah. So this is HR. So I'll just use P here now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll just put, you should put A here, isn't it? Yes. Um, A. Uh, so we want to be thinking out of the box. We want to see, we want to get this right, isn't it? So let's refresh it and see. So we haven't gotten it. So we have to get it, isn't it? So we have to think. Of, what do you think is missing there? 
Are we putting I, a menu? We just want to practice that. We don't it's, plan for it. It's, it's the href that is missing. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> the href attribute. Yeah. www.bbc.co.uk. Yeah. Are we done now? Is there any other thing? No, we are okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to quote them, isn't it? Mm. You can use HTTPS, you can use www. Don't mind me, I'm lazy to type that now. So, um, oh. So here it is. Mm. So this, let's say this are menu one. So I want another one to go in line within this. So what am I going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Because... I'm saying, okay, this is the thing. I know you might not know what we can do here, but we can say, this is my first, this thing. I'll just say space. You know what I'm going to do? I'll say space here. Do you know the space? MB what? SP. I'm not sure if it's that one. Mm. Yeah, MB, SP. I can't remember. Don't mind me. I'm just remember, it's almost 14 years ago, but I'm kind of MBSP and then I'll now write another one. I'll just type this. Hopefully we get there. Because we don't want to write another P. If you write another P, it's going to go down. But go we want down. it to be on a straight line. So we space, space, and then let's see. Perfect. Mm. So we have, it's like a menu, yeah? All right. Yeah. So one, two. So that means that if I say this one is BBC, this one should be CNN. So I can go back and say, okay, this one will be my CNN. And then dot co dot. I don't see there's any CNN dot co UK. Um. So this is some other CNN. Okay. Right. So don't worry. The way I'm doing this thing, but we just have to flow for now. Um, it's just introduction. We're still not. Um, so this is for CNN. So if I click it, I can say open new tab. It's going to open CNN for me. Mm. Why is it not opening? Do you know why? This one is not opening. You know why? Why? Okay. Let's that let's look at it ourselves. Exist. What do you think? It's possible that the website cnn.com doesn't exist. Yeah, but BBC also doesn't work. So what do you think is the problem? Do you think because we didn't put HTTPS? Oh, no idea, Michael. Okay, let's try it. I'm not sure it's supposed to work. It just means that... Perfect. Okay. It will make it work because so if I click it now, see it's because of the HTTP. So the next one you put HT, um, HTTP on the other one as well, which is the CNN, and then it's okay. going to work. So okay, um, so I'll just put CNN. Anyway, that's for us. Anyway, that's okay. Um, CNN. So we'll continue with our lecture for that one. Um, hmm. uh, where is it? I'll just say first day. <laughs> first day dot HTML. So that's it now. So this one is also going to be in CNN. So if I click it, open new tab. What is it doing? Mm -hmm. Open new window. Ah, that one works. Now, no, I have to check myself. HTTPS. Oh, sorry. See what is happening? Double quote. It won't work. Mm. All right. So this is a way to do things. Um. So let's go. After this, we continue. So that's our CNN. It says something's wrong. Mm. So what is it? So detect it. I know you know how to detect error. So what's my mistake? Hey, see, uh, www.ccnn.com. 
This is another thing. What do you think happens? This is another question. You've closed the air tag. This is some other CNN. I didn't close the air tag. That's the closing tag for the air. So open the air tag. Oops. Yeah. No. So what's the problem? Yeah, we have to close it, isn't it? Okay. You've closed it, yes. Then we'll close this one as well anyway. That's the problem. Okay. So I didn't even close that one as well. That's why it's working together. So this one will work. And then this one will also work now. <laughs> so why is it not working? We've closed it. Oh, look at where I type. Look, look. Where? Yeah, I'm, I, yeah it's okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm the one that made mistakes here. Sorry. It's okay so far. Um, it looks all right. I don't even know why it's doing that. Um, so, I don't even know why I typed that. Anyway, let's leave it for now. So, we continue. Good one. Now, where's my page? Then we'll go to paragraphs. We've learned paragraphs before. So paragraphs, we all know about paragraphs. If you type something, it's going to, you know, give it, you know, now see what it says. Sometimes you are not sure. So sometimes you determine how it is in the page first before you do things. So for example, if I put this now here on my P level, let's just remove this. All right, so let's see. If I do this, see what happened. If I do this, the paragraph contains a lot of lines, but you will see that even though we try to put it between, you know, lines there, like if you have space and line, you see not as it is. Because we have paragraph. Paragraph simply means one line, okay? So that's what is happening there. So when we have this, then I don't know why this is annoying. Um, oh God, separate. When we have this, yeah, you see this? This is paragraph of contains a lot of lines. Because we put P here. I will put P here. That's one line. All right. Mm. You cannot say, oh, because I've, you know, put space or do backspace many times. Doesn't mean that it's going to have multiple lines. So P represents one line. That's what they were trying to let us know there. So anytime you are writing P, know that it's one line. So if you want to write another line, you have to start with another P. Okay. All right. So though when we start going up in our uh, lexicon, you will see other ways of doing this so that you will just say preformatted. So it's going to preformat it for you. And then you're going to have it this way in this, in this format. Okay. But okay. because it's P, P can only have it as one line. Okay. So that's for that. Um, so you can see here. Yeah, and that is that if you are using P, you don't need to close it with P. As long as you have started with one P, you can start another P and it's going to stay in different line, okay? Mm -hmm. So for example, this one as well, we can try it ourselves here. You see it now, this is a paragraph, this is a paragraph, this is a paragraph. So but it's always good to close your par and to close your paragraphs, all right? Mm -hmm. That's it, okay, perfect. All right, Styles. Now, remember we are talking about cascading style sheets. Now, there's difference between inner style and cascading style sheets. All right. The cascading style sheet is, you know, actually working 
for different files, HTML files at the same time. So I can have one cascading style sheet file, and it's going to be controlling many HTML files. It's going to give them different background, different, you know, different colors and everything. But in the case of styles in HTML, it's all about designing only maybe probably one line, two lines of that page. Okay, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. So we call it sometimes inline style. Okay attributes you know for html so if i want something to be blue i can write it to be blue in your do you do anything to be do you put color at all in your you don't put background color i didn't see background at all in your, you just want it to be white isn't it, in your web page yeah uh yeah i was thinking of doing a css okay yeah later and, on we do css yeah, and using css sheet too. okay all right so they have already put it here. You will learn CSS around the tutorial. But sometimes there are some things that you don't really, maybe probably you have, you have already written your CSS code, but you just think that I don't really need to put CSS here. That's when the skills come in. You want to just have, have inline style of your mm. web page. You understand what I'm trying to say? So that's when we start having background color. You understand? So I can say, so we're going to learn this now. I am red, I am blue, I am big. How am I going to do that? So let's look at what it says here. You see, they put style, color, red. So I can edit what is here. I can say, okay, background color. Background, I think it should be color. I can also say yellow. I hope I'm right though. <laughs> okay, run. No, you have to get it right. Color equals yellow. Go, no. Uh, you should have, unless I know it works for so because mm. I didn't put semicolon. So I can, you know, I can change things in like in inline color there. You understand what I'm trying to say? So mm. these are the attributes. You're just thinking out of the box how you want your web page to look like. So as I said earlier on, your inline style um basically is mainly to control few few elements in your web page, not for you know multiple web page. For example, if you are trying to build something that has multiple pages, you have to use you know, CSS style, you understand, to control the background color, to control the style of color you want. So you just, you know, you get used to it as well, you know, defining mm -hmm. the color, defining how the background you want to be as well. You know, there's a way to even do it. Like if I put my mouse, for example, if I put A here now, I can say, okay, later on we'll learn that. If I put A here, you can define it even in cascades that change to blue. When I put my mouse over it, Change to blue. Uh, why am I forgetting href? Mm. You know, you can do this in HTML. You don't want it to go anywhere. You can just put blank here. Okay. All right. So I can do this. All right. Run. So I can say, any. don't worry, we'll get there. So anytime I move my mouse over it, it's going to change to yellow. When I move my mouse out, it's going to change to blue. So, and then you can do it in HTML when we get there. You can do it in a JavaScript. You can do it in cascading style sheet as well. Okay. Mm. So these are the things you will learn because there are some companies they don't want to be using too much cascading style sheet. They want to be using, you know, kind of HTML to um, JavaScript to do a lot of things. So, but you will find it is very easy because they'll be using some things that is very, that you'll be familiar with, like on click, on mouse, you know, mouse over. So these are the things you will be, okay, mouse over means that if you move your mouse over it, it's going to change to yellow. You get what I'm trying to say. So these are the things that you will, you will learn as well. Michael? Yes? Sorry, is it possible to work on web pages with HTML and JavaScript and Bootstrap and DS and completely ignore CSS? Yeah, you can ignore CSS, of course, but without using it at all. Yeah, you can, but okay. Yeah, you can. Why not? Uh, especially there are some things that make things easy now, like Bootstrap and so on and so forth. I but see. honestly, to be sincere, things have been easy nowadays. That you have templates already that's 
you know, you just use so that the color is in place. You can start changing the castellan style sheet a little bit. You understand? I think the, the reason why you are knowing this is that so that if you are in a place, you can understand the code. You can easily, so that's why you have to understand the cas you know, the cascading style sheet as well, right. so that you can read how they write it. So, for example, now, because later on when we're going to do one of the projects of our WordPress, I'm thinking, because I'm going to give you WordPress, I'm going to give you templates, and I want you to change everything. So, you want to change everything based on what we plan, what we agree, you know, as for our requirements. So, you have to right. um, start, you know, changing those code, change those things, color, you know, just make it suit what you want. So you just understand it. It's just, it's easy. You know, you already getting where, um, so you can't run away from it. So it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's not that difficult. All right. Well, everybody, even if me, sometimes I'll forget anything. I have to go back to it, isn't it? It's, mm. it's all normal. It's, every, it's everybody. Trust, trust me. Especially in terms of programming or any other thing. It's not even programming. Even if you are doing other things as well, you get what I'm trying to say. Um, mm. You always get there, and um, that's what I would say. So that's it. Is that okay? Um, yeah. All right. So let's continue on that one. Um, so there's a lot of possibilities, you know, using HTML. Um, so these are inline styles. So we talk about background color. You could see now they put it here: inline style, style. All right. Now, if before we go, now I want to say something is wrong on this web page run this is editing is not working i was like, what's happening now based on what i just said today can you show me how to troubleshoot don't go to html to view source probably you want to know the problem you can't see this source code but you are saying, but this thing is supposed to be blue. You know this is blue here already. I know you know it. How will you do that in this Chrome? Um, at the top right corner. Yes, at the top right corner. Um, those three dots. Yes, I've, I've done that now. Uh -huh. Then what will I do? You are there already. Uh, click, click on the dots. I thought I've clicked it. Oh. There you are there. Is this settings we should go to or um, developer tools or something? More develop. Tools. Yeah, you're right. More developer. Tools. Yes, developer. Oh, sorry. Because it's not there really. It depends on the Chrome version you are using. Before some Chrome versions, you have developer to show him. Now you have to go to more tools in this my version. So don't worry, it might be different in your page so that's fine so now i say oh why doesn't so i have to go through the code so i might be doing this i, I might just do this look at what i'm doing i'll do this oh i'm going to where there is heading so i'm going from scratch until it goes there um, i think this one when i help you know why it's not going to help Oh, sorry. No, I would gone past it. Uh, no, because something covered it's in that block. No, you see, you still don't get what I'm trying to do. Yeah. And um, you want to highlight that head the heading. Uh, this is what H1. we're doing. No, we can get it. We can't get it here because it's not our website. So what we can do, this one, suppose. Link is not showing. This is some other test. A link is not showing. Okay. Mm -hmm. A link is not showing. So I'm going to go back to that notepad. So I'm going to remove this. Okay. I think it's better that way for us. See, this link is not showing. I want to know why. So I'll go to developer tools. All right, as we said, mm -hmm. and then you start troubleshooting it. I say, why is it? Oh, why is it not? This is the code. You see, this is the line. It is our now. Oh it. yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't put. Oh, that's my mistake. I didn't put R in. Mm -hmm. I just put R E there. 
and then you just change. All right. You see what happened now. Now, see what happened now. If I now do this, it's going to go back because I just use that to detect my problem. So I still need to go back to my code and quickly. You understand? Do you know the reason why we can't change it like that? Why? Because if I change it like that, anybody can say. Anybody can. can. Okay. So it's more of a security thing as well. But for developer, it's just for you to know where the problem is. Do you okay. understand? And yes. know where go and everything is. So that's that's the reason why. Is that okay? Hmm. So that's it. So we can correct it there since we have detected the problem. We can code it now and then we detect it. So you could see that it's very powerful. The developer tools is very powerful. Then you know, using the HTML, um, so on and so forth, the HTML view source and so on and so forth, especially if you have thousands of code and so on and so forth. Mm. All right. So, and uh, the more you tend to go to know this, you can say, I want to be an automation tester as well. These are the things they use as well and so on and so forth. Okay. Let's continue our lesson. Um, you don't need this. Um, excuse me, Michael. Um, where do you put UTF? UTF? Uh, that... What do you mean? You mean what we did now? Yes, in the in the notepad, the, oh. the text editor we are using. Yeah, it's here, href. I put... Uh, I no, just... UTF, the encoding... Something to do with encoding UTF-8. Oh, don't worry about that one. Um, later on, we'll get there. I'll explain to you. Okay. It's all about generate, um, HTML generator in the, uh, in, in the engine of the HTML. Don't worry, we'll get there. That one is okay. just part of explanation. I think it will come to you when you begin to now understand how to host web and so on and so forth. And okay. Well, it should be, well, it's not part of those things now yet. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's okay now we've learned about styles so so you know about font family what they understand by font family so you can use font family means that if i want font family to be um what's the example of font family you should put it here font family can be vadana you know all those things like area um, which one is very popular roman something like Times that. new roman exactly so as long as so these are the things that you know is is very common you can put on your web page you know you can just change it the way you want it and so on as well so mm. now based on what we have learned i want to see if you will get it now i've done it i don't want this h1 i want it to be in one line this is a paragraph i want it to be in the same line with this is adding. Do you know what we can do? Uh, we will take the H1 and wrap it inside that P tag. Like we'll copy the whole of it. Okay. The whole of the H. No, no, the whole of the H. The whole of the H. The H, the heading tag. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. Okay. Cut it out. Okay. Listening. And then wrap it inside the P tag, the paragraph tag. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. I like that. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm not arguing now. <laughs> so they are not in the same line. Oh. Okay. So how are we going to do that? I thought I said it. You are going to use something like this. Yes, it's the, the NSP something. What is so, that thing, Michael? So I said it's the number of space. MB number space SP. MB and number SP. There's an ampersand symbol. That means let HTML know it's a special character, a special command, something okay. like that. Okay. So let's see it now. You will still learn that when we start doing a lot of stuff. Um, okay. 
So let's do, I want to have space. So what I will do now is that since it's H1, okay, and it's P here, what you need to do, now if you study what I did here, I put it within P, but see what I did. I said space, space, P, but if you put H1 here, okay, and put H1 here, H1 simply means that you are, so I would advise you do this. Remove this. Um, first, what am I doing? We'll do that together. So, because it's P, P will always bring one to one line. And then this is a paragraph. I think that's the mistake you make. Okay. Because you want this one to be here. So, Mm, supposed to work for me, for you as well, but that's why you, sometimes you, you can't guarantee how it's going to be. So, space, mm. space. This is a paragraph. Let's see how it goes. Normally, you can remove the P, honestly. To be so, so I'd rather remove the P for me because you don't need it. Mm. That's what is causing it. So, you can now see this is a paragraph here because I'll still tell us what we'll do later on PP, okay? You can make, because ADA is very powerful, you can put it within P. You can say space, space, and put PP here. But let's leave that now. Um, so, so let's try it now. Still not working. So I'll see myself, this is a paragraph. One of the things like thinking out of the box mm. is it because we have closed it here, so I have to move it. So it's kind of thinking, oh yeah, because I've closed it, I suppose not to close it. So I can now put that PP here now. So because if you close them, it means you want to start from another page. You get what I'm trying to say. That's the problem. Okay. So you can't close one. If you see, I will show you what happened now. So it's going to be in the same line now. But you cannot edit it now because if you look at this one that I did recently, you see that I didn't close the P first. I first closed one. So if I don't want this paragraph to have this thing, okay, which you want, I can say, okay, this way. Cut this way. Okay. And then say this paragraph. But I think what will happen is, I think there's something, there's another command, it, it will jump down, but we're still going there. That's going to make it be in one line. So which we are not there yet. So I'll tell you later, I can't remember that one. Mm. So that's it for that. But it's very important to know how to do that. A, a little bit trick, sometimes you want to tweak something in the website and it's very important to tweak and so on and so forth. And, so, so formatting, how to do formatting. We all know this bold, strong, italic. So it's all about putting them within bold. This one make it bold, mm. strong. There's nothing special in it as well. Mm. Nothing, nothing. There's nothing special in it. Favorite color, insert uh, element. So this one we insert something to something sub do you understand this one subscripted one will be below one will be upper you can okay. use sub there's sub as well which is here as well super scripted super script. mm -hmm. yeah so for example you are writing something you want to write algebra formula or you know you can write that using html as well so on and so forth you get what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. so that's the purpose of that right good Quotations now. How are you going to write quotation? Is Q. So it means that if I put something here, see it yourself. See what they did. Is to so they now quote. You know, normally test if you put something, you have to put quotes in it, but in, in HTML you have to use Q, Q. for quotes. Okay? Mm. 
which is very important. It's very key because if you're writing something and you're writing certain things, you can use Q you know, when you start getting advanced in your web development. I told you before, in all things, everything has comments. Comment is a way of saying HTML, ignore this part. I think you understand comment before. Mm -hmm. So there's no need because we did it in HTML. HTML has its own comment as well, everything. We did so, it in SQL. Yeah. So it will ignore it. So you know that it's not going to do anything when it sees this. There's what we call one line comments and multiple co comments, isn't it? So this is comment is between these colors. Don't worry about colors, honestly, to be sincere. It's just all this style, background color. We have done that already. You can put test color. You want it hello world. This, these, these. Style. Now, don't forget. When don't try to memorize every of these characteristics because you can always go to probably the website of HTML or something like that to remember on the distance, but you just understand the concept that you can have inline styles, like color. So I can't even remember probably putting border two. I know you can write border two PS because unless you start getting used to your job, you know, you remember everything. You can't remember everything like that. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, but at least some key things you can remember like me now, background color, you know, you can easily remember, but there are some things that really you can't remember for style. There are a lot of elements for style, okay? So you can't remember everything for style. Uh -huh. The RGB, do you use that? Yeah, you can use the that. RGB, but, or do you write the name of the color when you work? Uh, yeah, yeah, we don't use that because I don't do web again, but I've, I use it when I do projects sometimes, you know, other things that I do. But for me, yes, you can use it. You, I think you use it mostly in some other part of JavaScript and some, maybe probably you want to program certain things and they use it a lot. And, well, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's just about defining red. You know that red stands for 255. The more it is mm. red, you know, it's a combination of, but you don't really use it. You can use other things. We don't, there are something, you don't need to use RGB. There are some other things to use. X values there as well. Uh, RGB. This. Zero zero F F. Uh, yeah, but you are not a mathematician. So, for example, now because I did engineering, I can calculate what this means for myself. I want to calculate, but I don't need to do that because it's not really what you are paid to do. But you just want to know the kind of color until you get the combination. Things is easy now. If you want to know the color you want, when you start getting, you know, advanced in web development. Hmm. So when you start getting um advanced in web development um you start there are some kind of let me say applications that helps in color you know so you don't need to really know color much okay and also you can go to google and say this is the type of color i want and you just copy the code and paste it hmm. so you can go to your google and say color code let's put this here and on the web page let me put this no let me just say, I want combination of co colors. Let's go to Google here and do, 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 do. Like so on, so, uh, Okay. Let's do it yourself. See what happened. RGB, you see what's happened now. If you want the one in, in fact, there are so many so I can begin to twist it. Do you see what happened? Mm. This is X. This is RGB. This is your red, 135. So you see what is happening now? You can just quickly do that. Things have changed now. So don't worry yourself about that one. It's not okay. In those days, mm, that was then, like color, com things have changed completely. Mm. Do you get it, sir? Um, so, um, they don't talk much here about casting, but they just want you to know about casting style shit here. So we won't deal with it here. So they talk about internal CSS. You see, you can define your CSS here, okay? And then use it to control everything that is in your web page. The external means that you 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 create a, a CSS file. So this is where we're going to stop today, okay? 
Okay. So that we can do this tomorrow to control other things in the web page. Because mm. I want us to concentrate on links, images, tables, list, blocks, and so on and so forth. And then we'll now go to CSS. I tell you, it's not going to take long before we go to web development because that's when you begin to learn things quickly. And then we learn PHP later on, probably next two months, but at least we are getting the CSS bootstrap. Let me show you what bootstrap can do. CSS, this is what you can do. The things, let's see what it has done. Let's see what they have done with CSS. Michael, your screen is not centered. Oh, it's not centered. Yes, I can't see the left side of your screen. Ah, hold on. Everything is here. Maybe it's my page. You, you can't see anything at all? I can't see the left side. The left things that are on the left. Okay. Let me see. Ah, you have told me see so. Let me see zoom. Or view. You are in 100% on that. Okay, let me. Okay. I, okay, I've adjusted mine. I can see now. You can see mine. To fit the window. I've adjusted it to fit the window. All right. Mm -hmm. So, other things that you learn is these as well, like for, let me see, forms. You know, you can use to design forms. Um, you wanted to go to Bootstrap. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Okay. JavaScript. And then, uh, yeah, Bootstrap is one of the things you have to just learn. It makes your website fantastic. So I'll show you something now. If you go to balanceeye.com, okay, our website. Mm -hmm. um, now, if I click login, See, these are things you learn. Bootstrap will help you change things like this to this. Okay. It will help you to do a lot of things. Okay. Mm. Uh, don't worry. We'll get so it will change this very it creates toggle, everything like that, and so on and so forth. So we'll talk about that in bootstrap. So let me show you one of those examples of bootstraps here. No, four. We'll learn four. John button. So that's very interesting one because if you see it is very good. See what it has done now. It puts something here. It makes your website fantastic. Um, it's just basic, but it's very nice. Um, let me look for the one toggle. Let me look for toggle for you. Navs. Now to create navs. Try yourself. So don't worry about this. By the time you put color. So instead of us creating menu, you can help to create menu navs and so on. I'm looking for the one that's collapse, drop down. So you see this is what it's going to do. Try yourself, collapse. You see what is happening. So mm -hmm. things in then let me see the one that is good. Carousel, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See now, this most popular now, isn't it? You can play it. So I use Bootstrap here in balasdiet.com. So though you scroll, I can say you scroll down. See now, so I can go. So I just decided to use this type, okay? Mm -hmm. So I use Bootstrap, yeah? So is that okay? Okay. okay. So as bootstrap for you. So these are the common things they use now. If you go to some website, that's what they use, isn't it? You see, they, you know, it can go automatically itself. It can do anything. So it's Moda. You know, this is how Moda is. You know, things will come up like this. Do you want to fill the form? There's two tip over me. You see now? Mm. Yeah. See a lot of things to do. Pop over. Let me show you another web thing I did then. Probably be still here. I want to show you before I go. It's with Node.js. And if I can remember how. Oh my God, I've forgotten. I can't remember. I can't. Suppose I remember now. I'll, I'll show it to you. Node.js. And it's called Live. Hey, Eroku. 
I want to see if I can do something. I want to show you something. So I did this, okay, recently. And I want to show you what I did. Open up. So, but that was when I was learning Node.js to build something with one of these. So it's following things. I think it's an Edemi year camp or something like that. Um, okay. The guy is very good on them. If you want to learn something on Node.js, but we will learn Node.js later on, but that will be in the future. Um, so I can log in here. I can put log in here. So I can upload my videos. I can put comments, more info. I can add comment here. It's just, you know, it's just pure code on Node.js. You understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So I put it there. I can see my comment, okay, and then success added comment. So if I come in now, let me see what I can do now to see my page. Where is the comment I added now? It says so that committed. So let me go back to home page here. We all come crowns. Is it Dubai I see now? More info. More info. Uh, comment, test. Submit. Supposed to be there. It was working before. Why it's not working? I don't know yet. Right. It can, hold on. I'm trying to view all campgrounds. Mm -hmm. More info. Okay, it's there. Sorry. I think. I don't know why it's not going back. Let me see. F F F F F F F F I will see that later on. I don't stress myself now. So basically that's for Node.js. Well you can do there are many tools out there web program you have to be good at. But now what happens is that you are getting knowledge of HTML. That's the beauty part of it. Mm -hmm. So we'll continue mm -hmm. tomorrow on HTML for now. Is that okay? Okay. So, if that's okay for you. Any other question before we round up? Um, any mm -hmm. question? No. So, mm -hmm. I will stop record okay. first and then... Um,